Welcome to our Getting Started video where we will discuss start to finish, determining your eligibility, and eventually getting pre-approved for your VA home loan. Follow along as we explain the pre-approval process, including how to obtain your Certificate of Eligibility or COE. The process of buying or refinancing a home with a VA loan is almost identical to traditional loan programs, but does include a few additional steps. Before you can take advantage of the VA loan, you need to confirm you are eligible. The VA has identified very specific guidelines to help determine who is eligible to take advantage of the VA home loan. Let's take a look at these guidelines. Anybody who has served in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, or Space Force between September 15, 1940 and present day may be eligible for a VA loan. If you serve during wartime, you only need to have served for 90 consecutive days to be eligible, and if you serve during peacetime within those dates, you may be eligible if you served at least 180 days consecutively. If you served in the Reserves or National Guard, you may also qualify, but you must have completed at least six years honorably, as well as received the minimum number of points during that time. Likewise, if you are activated on Title 10 or Title 32 orders for at least consecutively 90 days, you may also qualify. Military spouses also qualify. The two main ways to qualify as a military spouse are if you are an unremarried spouse of a veteran who died during service and who passed from a service-connected disability, or you are the spouse of a military member who is currently a prisoner of war or missing in action. One of the questions many veteran home buyers ask lenders and realtors when beginning the home buying process is, how much can I get with the VA loan before I need to have a down payment? Well, unless you have lost a portion of your VA entitlement due to a foreclosure or short sale, or you currently have your VA loan in use, there is no down payment requirement on any loan amount. Let me elaborate on that. As of January 1st, 2020, the VA effectively got rid of county loan limits and down payments associated with homes above the county loan limit. They started relying solely on the veteran's qualifying ability to determine how much they will guarantee. If you do not have full entitlement due to reasons mentioned previously, you may still face a down payment requirement depending on your situation. If you do have any used or lost entitlement, please reach out to us so we can help you calculate how much of a VA loan you can get before you have to come up with a down payment. Now let's turn our attention over to VA loan entitlement. The VA entitlement is the maximum dollar amount that the government will pay back a mortgage lender if a homeowner happens to go into mortgage default or fails to repay their loan. In order to still have full entitlement, a qualified service member or veteran must fit into one of these three categories. First, you don't currently have your VA home loan benefit in use. Second, you've had a VA home loan before, but you've either paid it in full or sold the property. Third, you've repaid the VA for any lost entitlement due to a short sale or foreclosure. If you either currently have a VA loan in use or you had a foreclosure or short sale and haven't paid back the lost entitlement amount to the government, then it is likely that you don't have full entitlement and you will need to speak with one of our representatives to determine how much of a VA loan you can get before you are required to have a down payment. The amount of used or lost entitlement can be found on your Certificate of Eligibility. After you've determined that you're eligible to take advantage of the VA loan, it's time to check your buying power by getting pre-approved. Once you are pre-approved, you can then continue on your home buying journey and work your way to home ownership. Sometimes you may hear the term pre-qualify when starting your home buying journey. It's important to know that while a pre-qualification can be useful at the early stages of buying a home, it is actually different from getting pre-approved. So what's the difference between the two? A pre-qualification simply refers to an estimate given by a lender based on verbal information provided by you, the borrower. As you can imagine, it's hard to lend out or commit to hundreds of thousands of dollars without a further evaluation. Pre-approvals are that more in-depth evaluation. Your lender will review your income, assets, credit, and other financial documents pertinent to your situation. Most home sellers and realtors won't recognize a pre-qualification as a true sign of your buying power. You will need to get pre-approved. Here's what we will need to have gathered up to start your pre-approval. A government-issued ID like a driver's license or passport. Two most recent federal and state tax returns. Proof of income which can often be shown through recent pay stubs, W-2s and or 1099s. 
proof of assets, including bank statements and any applicable retirement or investment accounts like a 401k or TSP. A credit report, which will likely be pulled by your lender to get an accurate understanding of your monthly liabilities. And finally, a verification of your most recent 12 to 24 months of housing payment. Additional documents may include divorce papers, bankruptcy filings, as well as any other documentation revolving around your financial profile. Finally, let's talk about one of the most important documents your bank or lender will need for pre-approval. Your Certificate of Eligibility, most often referred to as your COE. This document comes directly from the VA and is proof that a potential borrower meets eligibility requirements for a VA loan. In order to apply for your COE, you will need one of the following documents. A statement of service from your commanding officer if you are still active. A copy of your DD-214 if you are not still active. Or a copy of your retirement point statement if you are or were a member of the reserves or National Guard. The VA's website or a VA-approved lender, like MHS Lending, is your best service in determining what you need. You can apply for your COE yourself by going to your eBenefits portal or by providing your lender a copy of the documents mentioned previously and he or she will order it for you. Well, that concludes this video. If you have any more questions about getting started, please read the content below this video or get in touch with our team by clicking the Apply Now button in the top right-hand corner of the screen.